Welcome back everyone and I think this is my sixth episode on this Simrex X300C mini drone and the only reason I want to do one more segment is I've had some questions on people that have had problems getting it to fly so I'm going to try and explain to you what you might try to do if you're having trouble with it being stable. First off the propellers if they come off they must go in a certain order and if you take the propellers off and look underneath I'm not going to be able to show you but there's actually markings that identify each propeller so you need to make sure that you replace a repeller with the proper one there are extras that come with it and obviously on mine the white are in the front and the two blacks are in the rear another thing I want to make sure that everyone understands is you charge the battery again with your USB connector but you also have to charge the remote and there's a little charging opening right there and this simply plugs in. This does not need charge near as often as the drone. The drone you get your whatever seven minutes of flight time. Okay, the two important areas are one you have to pair the drone to the remote or your phone Secondly, you have to calibrate the drone. That doesn't necessarily need to be done every time, but it does need to be done when you first get the drone, and then if you have any um, unstable flying, you can always calibrate. So let's go back, and first, how do you pair the drone? There's a small button on top of the drone. You push and hold it in until the drone starts flashing. You should have a blue light up where the button is and a flashing red light at the back of the drone. Next, there's a slide switch here that will turn on your remote. You'll hear one beep followed by two beeps and now these lights are solid. Now we're paired. Once you've paired the drone to the controller, whether it's your phone or the uh, control unit that comes with it, you need to calibrate. And from time to time you may want to calibrate if you start getting erratic flights. It's easy to do once you have the drone on and it is paired is when you push and hold. It kind of looks like a speedometer on the bottom of it and an atomic symbol above that. The far button that I showed just moments ago and you hold it down and wait for an audible sound and these little red lights towards the back will flash. So let me zoom in so you can see. I'm pushing that and holding it. Heard the tone, the red lights flashed, and now it's stable. Now I can push the start button, which is right up here on the top. And I don't know if you can see, but one of the propellers is not turning, but that's fine because it's actually balanced. Now when I push this slide lever here up, the center pad, push down on your thumb and slide it up, I'll get elevation and then I control the direction with this pad over here. So I've got control. I can even bring it back to this little table for a landing. Sorry, it's out of camera. <laughs> but there it is. So that's what you need to do for the calibration and pairing it. Some of you may be experiencing some trouble in total loss of control or it seems like you've lost control of direction. That can occur if you have activated the headless mode, which is this inside button. And when you activate headless, it's one push and these will continuously fl flash red whenever you're in headless mode. And what can happen is when you activate headless mode, you have the remote with the drone in front of you facing away. In headless mode, when you push the forward button, no matter what direction this drone is facing, it's going to go, in this example, because when I set it down, it's facing east. So the up button will always move the drone in an easterly direction. 
It doesn't matter if you completely turn it around, it's still going to go east. Likewise, whenever you go to the left, if you start out facing east, it's always going to go north regardless of the direction the drone is facing. That can really get confusing if somehow you've lost track of the drone's direction or what happened to me is some wind caught the drone and blew it behind me and I was totally confused because I turned around and now I'm in this position and pushing forward brings the drone to me backwards would take it away from me and even more confusing the north and south were just the opposite so again now to go if I push the north direction or to my right as I face the drone the drone would actually go to the left I know that sounds confusing and it took me a while to figure it out but in headless mode just remember you set the drone down you activate it and whatever direction it is facing it's always going to go that direction when you go with the up button it's always going to maintain that position no matter what direction any of these are in so i hope that kind of straightens it out for you and again to deactivate the headless mode you just push the same button one more time the lights will stay on continuous so that could be some people's problems because i was getting questions that they could not control the drone whatsoever and i'm guessing they had activated the headless mode and then everything was turned around different directions and it, yes it would seem like something is terribly wrong another thing that is important is for the auto return function it's the same button but now you hold it down and as long as you hold it down the drone will come back to your position so that's my update on the simrex mini drone i appreciate everyone's watching and following along on this journey that's boiler dan one where my motto is i know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing thanks for watching